<sighs> Let's get to it. As I said, there's no reading today. And there's no reading today because of a gentleman by the name of, let me make sure, Abi Idakwoji. Abi Idakwoji. Y'all know I'm y'all know I'm part Nigerian now. So, you know, hopefully my pronunciation is, is on point. I'm not sure what type of name this is, um, but Abi Idakwoji. So yesterday, let me tell y'all about yesterday. All right, hold on. Let me oh wait, hold on. Let me catch up. So Queez wrote, I'm on that Beyond Brew now, mushroom coffee. Ew. Gotta get on the mushroom coffee, bro. I gotta ah, damn, I meant to go get some yesterday. Actually, this is just some regular. But definitely got to tap in with the mushroom coffee. If y'all aren't on mushroom coffee, please make that transition. Even for tea drinkers, I think they have like a tea form of mushroom tea. And then they even have a form of hot cocoa, certain brands. So let's make sure that we get the mushrooms in. Not the hallucinating. You're not going to be hallucinating. <laughs> all right. It's all the, it's all the um, amazing benefits of just mushrooms, focus, energy, all these different things. So. Can I tell you about my story? Kiki, what up, Grand Rising? It's going to be an amazing day. Happy Wednesday. Yo, this is a fact. Yo, this is a fact. Energy, I'm telling y'all, has never been bigger. Energy has never been bigger. So exactly what Kiki just said, it's going to be an amazing day Wednesday. I was on the phone earlier. I'm trying to, I had a flight credit, so I was trying to book something. And I just got on the phone, and the lady, she's very nice. Um, but in the beginning... I just I just set the expectations. I said, you know what? Today's going to be an amazing day. I just decided it's going to be an amazing day for you, too. And she's like, oh, you know what? And then we had a whole conversation about that. Almost late getting to y'all because of it. But it's, that's just the power of everything that we do. That's where, to me, that's the biggest. Well, this story that I'm getting ready to tell y'all is the biggest proof, the biggest form of proof that I have that, God exists. Now, I've been all over, all across the spectrum as far as my thoughts on God. Um, but this story that I'm getting ready to tell y'all is the greatest proof that I have that God exists. All right. So yesterday, I run, I run into the city yesterday. And I was like, you know what? Let me meet a couple people. I can grab my check, deposit my check. And then, uh, you know, get out of there, see who I need to see, and then get out of there. Go into the city yesterday, grab my check, you know, run into the office, whatever, boom. And there's a chase right around the corner. So I was getting ready to go to lunch, and I was like, you know what, hold up, let me just run to Chase, and then I'll meet you for lunch. I go to Chase, walk in, see the same security guard that I always see. And it's one of those chases to where if you've been to the city, they always have the front, or maybe it's in Jersey too. It's like a front room with just ATMs. And then you walk into the actual bank with all the tellers and everything. So I walk into the actual bank, guy standing there, clearly there's an issue. They're doing something new. He's like, you know what? Our system's down. You got to just use the ATM. I was like, I'm depositing. I've never really done that. So I was cool, calm, and collected. I was just like, no problem. Like, I'll just, you know, let me figure it out. So he helped me towards the end. And as I was finishing, I turned around, saw the same security guard. You know, I was about to say bye to him, give him a little pound, as I always do. And I, I don't know. I've always felt a special connection with this security guard, just the level of appreciation because of how dedicated he is to his job. He takes his job very seriously. He greets everybody. He opens the door. He makes you feel good when you walk into that Chase Bank. And I always think in the back of my head where he, this is probably a man that, like, other people in that position may or may not feel as appreciated by the people that are coming in there. I'm sure they're not, you know, saying thank you. Just simple stuff. Y'all know how it is. Just with people being busy, whatever it may be. I don't know. I just was thinking that in my head. So I always just... I always just make sure that I, I just want to make him feel good and appreciated before I leave. So I was going to, you know, leave and he pulled me to the side. Like literally he was like, here, he said, and he started pointing at me and he said, you need to pack your bags tonight and you need to leave the city. Like I said, I've never had a conversation with, well, I've, you know, had short conversation with him. Hey, you know, have a good one. Bye. Oh, thank you. Like those type of things. But we never had a conversation. And he tells me, First conversation we had, 
you need to you need to pack your bags tonight and leave New York City. And now I'm getting a little bit weirded out because I was already in conspiracy mode when they told me that all the Chase banks are down. And I started thinking like, oh, this is because of BRICS. They, they start in the new currency, whatever. I start going into all these thoughts. So he's telling me, I'm like, yo, what is he talking about? So I lean in a little bit and I'm like, okay. And he's like, you need to be in Miami. You need to pack your bags tonight and move to Miami. I kid you not. I've never... I'm, this man does not know where I live. This man does not. Clearly, he thought that I live in New York City. I've never had a conversation with this man. He's like, you need. To, and keep in mind, I'm not engaged. At this point, I'm not engaging in the conversation. I'm just hearing what he's telling me. So I'm just sitting there looking at him like. Like, yo, like literally just saying that. And he says, you know, there's 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 money. He said, you're you're too you're too rich to be here. You need to be in Miami. And I'm like, dang, I must have been walking through with a nice little bop or something. Like, I don't know what it, maybe it's the energy. Maybe it's the glow. I don't know. And it was like freaking me out on a couple different levels because I'm like, hold up. Here we are in New York. Like, this is where the money's at, right? Like, you know, New York City. Miami's different, but this is this is still like the hub. This is still where, where all the bread's at. So... I'm just still looking at him. And he he says, he says, yeah, uh, I, I see how you walk and and I see I see you and you need to be in Miami. So this is when I start having a conversation with him. And I say, you're not going to believe this. Like, I, I, I live in Miami. Like, I, I live between here and Miami. He said. Confirmation. Confirmation. That's all he said. And. I could tell he was really concentrating on what I was saying and like he was looking intently to try to pick up on what I was saying. I don't know what it was. I just thought that maybe that's, you know, some people just have those intense conversations. So we're going back and forth a little bit and he's kind of responding, but I'm thinking he's a little bit distracted because he wants to, you know, make sure that he's on point with work. And then he tells me, he says, I'm deaf. I, I can't really understand what you're saying but I see you, I see you, I understand. I, I've seen you and I know you by seeing you. He starts telling me this. So then I'm like, I'm over here like, hold up, you're deaf? And I, the, the thoughts that go through my head, I swear I'll be having the weirdest thoughts. I'm like, hold up, all this time I've been talking to you, you haven't, you don't even know what I'm saying to you. Like when I say, what's up, oh, how's everything? You know, have a good one, thank you. He, and I asked him if he could read lips and he said, you know, not too well. And how he spoke, and then based on not being able to read lips, I assume that he was born with hearing, but then eventually something happened to where he became deaf. Um, because I think when you're usually born deaf, you can pretty much tell, like so, sometimes you'll have a speak, speaking deficit, whatever. So I'm just kind of amazed where here I thought, I've been going to this bank for a few years now, seeing him, and here I thought, like we had a connection, we were connecting based on, you know, words and stuff like that. But the connection was really just based on energy. It was simply based on energy. So as I was talking to him, I said, you know what? I said, you don't even, I said, you may or may not realize, but you, this is God sent. I said, the God in you just spoke to bring out the God in me. And he's just kind of like, you know, shaking his head. And then eventually he pulled out his phone. He said, I, if you speak into this, I can see, you know, I can read it. So it was like one of those speak to or speak to text or something like that. And it's an app in his phone that he uses to speak to people. So I had to speak into the phone for him to understand what I'm saying. So we're having this conversation now. And it was just like, I, I just hugged my man. I just hugged him. I just hugged him. And what's so funny is, I, I realized afterwards when I walked back, you know, back the other way to my car that he's not the, I, I, he probably was scared to hug me. He still wears a mask, um, like the COVID mask, but he didn't have it on when I first saw him. So I gave my man a hug and I'm like, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And he just kept smiling, kept being happy. And I'm like, yo, there's something about that to where a lot of times we'll think like, oh, this is just a coincidence or this is this, that. No. We got to lean into these type of situations and we got to understand that the energy, like I don't, 
like I said, I don't know what energy I was putting out. Maybe he just decided that yesterday was going to be the day that he blesses me with some positive energy. And I'm and I was super appreciative of it because I'm the type of person that when stuff happens, especially well, more more positive stuff, if it's some negative, I just look at it like oh, I'm supposed to learn something from it. But when positive stuff happens, I embrace it. You know, I, I just I just really embrace it. And this man, he, he, I could tell his English wasn't exceptional. I could tell, you know, that obviously he's deaf. He probably, he knew that when he engaged in a conversation with me, it meant that it wasn't just going to be easy for him because he's deaf. Think about it. If you're deaf, every conversation with somebody new, then you got to explain, oh, well, I'm deaf. I can't hear. Can you speak through this? And meanwhile, he's at, he's at, he's at work, you know, he's doing security. And when he, <laughs> so, so as I'm sitting there talking to him, even a customer came up and he was like, it's loud. It's loud. You know, the air, con he was talking about the air conditioning unit and the guy, his response was more so he, he couldn't, he, he can't hear. And he said, oh, oh yeah, the chase, they play music and all the chase. He thought he was talking about inside and the guy looked at him and he kind of looked at me. He was like, no, I meant like the air conditioning unit. And I'm kind of just looking at the guy like, bro, like, go ahead. Like, it's the air, con you're not even talking about in the bank. You're talking about just in this little area. Like, take your money out and keep it moving. And the guy just was so friendly. He's like, oh, no, no, thank you. Have a great day, sir. Like, everything was just like, this dude, I, I just, I, if, I wish that I could do something for him. I, w I hope that I can eventually just to work with him. I don't know what, what the role would be. I don't know. But just that type of energy exchange, I don't know. I don't know. So y'all tell me. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe maybe y'all, I'm sure every, we all have similar stories to this. But I think that sometimes we'll downplay it or say, oh, that's crazy or, you know, just a coincidence. Nah, I don't think it's, you know, it's not crazy. It's just alignment. It's just alignment. And sometimes we can find confirmation in areas that we weren't even expecting it. And, and like I said, why I was so impressed is because this guy went out of his way to empower me, to speak godly life into me knowing that it was going to be a conversation that he probably tends to avoid because then he has to get to the whole, you know, oh, can you speak into this? But he still did it. And for me, during a time where I kind of like maybe connected to this story afterwards, I'm about what we're, we're looking to do down in Miami, get a home and stuff. But it just was confirmation for me that, yo, that's that's where I need to be. Like, that's where I need to be. So that's the story. Let's get into the show. You feel me? That's the story I want to... Man, I, I, I'm telling you, yesterday when I was explaining this story, I was about to start crying, you know? Like, I, I was literally about to start crying. Like, it was just it was just shaking me. It was just, I don't know, man. I, I, I really love good people. I really do love good people. Like, so, yeah, that's, that's my story, man. But, yeah, just pay attention to the alignment. That's, that's all. That's where I'll leave it. Pay attention to the alignment. All right, so... Switching gears a little bit. Hold on. Let me let me look at the comments. I haven't been paying attention. Um, oh, Kiki wrote, this is such a beautiful story. I've goosebumps. Appreciate you, Kiki. Queez, that's powerful on the right path, man. Appreciate. Yo, it's man, yeah. Y'all, y'all know me by now, man. I was just appreciative of it. All right, so let's get into it. So we got a bunch of 